Let me give you first a demonstration of the supraspinatus and the delta. I'll take them into abduction and I'll see how far they can go. Let's say when I get to here, they go ouch. Okay? That's a pretty common reaction. All right? So when they hit this ouch spot, I'll then test them right in this position. Okay? And I'll see usually that they'll fail that test. Okay? So that tells you that they have a weak what? Medial weak medial delta. Right. Okay? And then what I'll do is a technique called circuit localization. I'll, I'll think to myself, okay, the middle deltoid's weak. I'm going to find a spot here. So remember that the supraspinatus lives in that fossa, that little hole on the top of the shoulder. Okay? Right in through here. Okay? Now, as I get my finger closer to where the acromion process and the clavicle come together, that tends to be a fairly sore area. That can get, that's a little bit tender in there. Right? Right where the acromion and the clavicle come together there. There's, that's usually, that's usually one of the spots that you can, you can hold. And if I hold there, and I test the middle deltoid and it gets stronger, then I know that that specific spot on the supraspinatus is compensating for that weak middle delta. Okay? It eliminates a lot of the guesswork about where in the supraspinatus that may be happening. So the supraspinatus starts right here, ends about right there. Okay? But usually where the problem is is as it gets closer to that AC joint. Okay? So then we want to release this spot right here, okay? And by releasing this, it should make the middle delta stronger. That's the theory, okay? So then how do you want to release this spot is the question. There are many release techniques. Uh, there's stretching it. You could, take, you could take the arm over like this and pull that way. That's a stretch for it. You could just put direct pressure on it and hold it. You know, that's called ischemic compression. It's a very common technique. It's an active spindle cell release, is what we call it. Uh, hold the spot, and while the person is contracting the supraspinatus, I'll put pressure on it at the same time. Okay? Hold and release. Okay? And then after I do that, I'll retest the middle deltoid. Okay? And if the middle deltoid gets strong, then I know that that, had, that technique has worked.